Sensory is from the Waihinga Centre or participating businesses. And eggs are hidden. So this is an Easter egg hunt. Uh, so you turn up at the Waihinga Centre or other businesses that are participating in this Easter trail. You can also take your entry to the P&K General Store, Payne and Kershaw that is, to get an Easter treat and be in to win an Easter hamper. So good old Martinborough stepping up, offering fun and games for everybody in the family. The Sunset Cinema is opening its doors at the Carterton Event Centre on Friday evening from 7 o'clock. The movie starts at 7.30 and you can find information about what movies are on at the Sunset Cinema uh, at lowercase sunsetcinemacarterton.com. So if you're at a loose end tomorrow evening, check out Sunset Cinema at the Carterton Event Centre. So that's about it for Friday. Moving on to Saturday, of course, we've got the Wairapa Farmers Market open from 9 to 1 at the Solway Showgrounds. That's always a lot of fun. There's some lovely food there to be had. Uh, and uh, coffee, of course, is brilliant. Uh, and there's also some live music. Um, I'm not sure who's playing this week. It might be Gail um, with her wonderful acoustic uh, versions of uh, lovely folk songs and old rock songs and she might even have her Stratocaster uh, plugged in to play a few songs as well. Um, there's the Featherston Weekly Market on Saturday from 8 till 2 at 33 Fitzherbert Street and then there's the Women's Defence Class with Dion at the Band Rotunda in Queen Elizabeth Park Saturday, 9 o'clock in the morning. If you want to find out more about the Women's Defence Class, call Dion on 020-4124-4098. Moving right along to Sunday, Easter Sunday, and that's a very special day, even if you don't know a lot about the religious significance. Um, it's, it's a very special day for families and time to get together with your friends. Do something special on Easter Sunday. And if you want to remember the story of the, the Easter drama that involved uh, Jesus Christ and his uh, disciples and the whole event in Jerusalem, it's worth just reflecting on what you do remember about that uh, because whatever your connection with uh, the Christian legends and mythology, it, it does work very deeply in our culture. And it is a time to reflect on such things as um, uh, love working in our relationships and sacrifice that is often necessary to maintain friendship and to be of service to um, other people including our families. Um, all right, so Sunday, there's not a lot of events on Sunday. I did mention about the Pukaha um, events at the National Wildlife Centre there. Um, the Carterton Farmers Market is open on Sunday from 9 to 12.30. So some things just go on. There's the Masterton Car Boot Sale on on Sunday from 6.30 in the morning in Essex Street. And there's the good old Masterton Toy Library uh, at 365 Queen Street. So if you're short of toys for, the, for your little ones, think of just popping down to the Toy Library from 10 to 1 and either using the toys there or I'm sure you can make arrangements and take them away for a few days. They might be very helpful over the school holidays to get some extra toys into the, the, the family. Well, we're moving on time-wise. I've got time to tell you a little bit more, but first of all, I'm going to play you 
a Dave Murphy song uh, from his album, which is Yes, That's Me. This album came out uh, about 20 years ago, I think, and we're going to hear him play Crossroads. to flag a ride I went down to the crossroads and I tried to flag a ride Well, nobody seemed to know me Everybody passed me by I went down to the crossroads and I looked out east and west I went down to the crossroads And I looked out east and west Well now nobody seemed to know me No one helped me in my distress You know that the dark's going down me Lord, I'm gonna get caught down here Lord, the dark's going down me and I'm gonna get caught down here Whoa. I ain't got nobody Nobody seem to care All right Dave Murphy playing Crossroads, wonderful track by Robert Johnson, really put him on the map way back in the mid-1920s, I think. Of course, the recorded version were lost and then found. And anyway, Dave's a wonderful blues musician coming from Wellington, um, and uh, whenever he can, he comes and joins, and, uh, joins us to play in the Wairapa. So I'm just telling you now about a few of the... Um, uh, rather special events coming up next Friday, the 10th of April, the Wairapa Regional Orchestra are playing at the Carterton Event Centre with a wonderful lineup of musicians. There's um, Caitlin Morris is playing solo cello and Tom Cardno is playing solo guitar, um, two of the featured musicians, but the whole orchestra very accomplished and they'll be playing among other things a composition by Jonathan Birkin who was the New Zealand Pacific Studio and Cross Creek Blues Club fellow 
uh, also funded by creative communities. So he'll be there, but not actually playing. He'll be appreciating what the local orchestra uh, does with his composition. Um, the uh, Masterton Theatre Company are putting on Princess and the P at the Harlequin Theatre starting on Thursday, April the 8th. The show begins at 7 o'clock. It runs Thursday, Friday, Saturday there's a matinee at 1.30 and at 6pm and then on Sunday the 11th of April, that's the last show, that's at 4pm. Adults $20, students $14. So look out for that. Um, make a plan to see Princess and the P. It's an original story by Hans Christian Andersen. It's been adapted for the stage by Paul Percy and is directed by Deborah Percy. So good on the Harlequin for uh, bringing us live drama again. We, we have missed um, regular plays at the Harlequin, so if they're getting back to uh, present more plays, that's a wonderful asset for the community. Um, we've got a few other things coming up. We've got Queen coming on Thursday, the 15th of April. Uh, this is at the Carterton Event Centre, so that's the week after next. Just a, uh, a heads up. Uh, the Queen Lookalike Band, it's Kind of Magic, playing at the Carterton Event Centre Thursday, the 15th of April. Uh, there's a play written by Paul Elliott called Exit Laughing. That's coming up on the 21st to the 24th of April. Uh, 8 o'clock and 2 o'clock on the 25th of April. Um, on the 13th of April, uh, there's a speaker, Gilbert Anoko, who's the All Blacks manager, talking about leadership. Tuesday the 13th of April, so that's uh, the week after next. How to create and maintain a high-performance environment. Um, so if you want to find out more about Gilbert and Oka, and Oka's talk at the Carterton Event Centre, just contact the Carterton Event Centre. There are classes for well-being at the Wairapa Community Centre. So do go down there and check out what's available. The phone number is 377 one oh double two uh, and I can give you a quick heads up of some of the things that are coming up there um, there's one titled Beyond Borders it's attention widows and widowers are you looking for people who know what you are going through so this is on uh, the next one is on April the 20th Motor Motu Oru at the Education Room. It's from 11 to 1, and the donation is a gold coin. So if you want some support and you're struggling a bit on your own, think of going to Beyond Borders April the 20th at the Education Room at the Wairapa Community Centre. Um, there's a knitting group each Wednesday at the Women's Centre Rooms. Uh, coffee and Craft on Thursday at the Women's Rooms. There's a Feldenkrais Movement with Ease on Sunday, April the 11th. So that's Sunday week in the Conference Room at the Wairapa Community Centre, 2 to 4 p.m. A cost of $30 for that. That's quite a specialised therapeutic uh, range of movements uh, and exercises that you're taught. Uh, and the people who are trained in Feldenkrais make uh, quite an effort to get a full education in that field. Uh, one last thing to mention is the Guitar Club. Each Monday, Motu Oru Education Room uh, from 5 to 6.15. Wairapa Community Centre Guitar Club. Each Monday. Good, I've never heard that before, so that's good to know about. And finally, uh, is um, there's a meditation class 
on the first Wednesday of each month. But look out for the things that are happening at the Wairapa Community Centre. They're in midweek, and you can pop down there and um, find out more detail. And I'm sure there's something that you'll be able to connect with. Um, there's workshops at the Masterton Library, and these are worth knowing about as well. They've got a sustainability workshop, sourdough and spirits. It's the basics of how to work with sourdough, which is obviously connected with bread making, but I'm sure there are other applications for it as well. That's on the 15th of April from 6 to 7 p.m. And then there's uh, the gathering, which is starts on April the 12th. It happens again on the 19th. So it's each week from the 12th of April, from 1 to 3 p.m. Join neighbours, family and friends in a friendly and safe place where you can talk and share and make the space your own. The gathering at the Masterton Town Library. And just looking a little bit into the future... Um, a wonderful political commentator and analyst, Colin James, is giving a talk on April the 7th, meeting um, with the Institute of International Affairs. And if you want to find out more of the, about uh, Colin's visit to, the, to Masterton, I think he talks at the Copthorn. Um, April the 7th, Wednesday next week, Copthorn Hotel... Uh, from 7 o'clock, um, the, the, there's an AGM at 7 o'clock and the talks, yeah, I'm not quite sure how the timing works on that, but anyway, get there at 7 o'clock, tea and coffee, uh, there's some local meeting happening and then this Collins talk. And Eileen Weston on 063725741 is organising Collins visits. Well, that's about us for this week, Move, Mingle and Play. Um, looking at events, activities, uh, things that get us out and about, things that get us rocking a bit, things that put a smile on our face. That's what we're about. Rob Mansell signing off for another week and look forward to talking to you again next week. Bye for now.